Hey everyone, Artfinity here and I'm back with another drawing video and this one actually covers a very interesting and very frustrating topic and that is starting over. That's a thing I know a lot about, even with this commentary it's my like fourth, fifth take, but there's something about starting over that just gives you a chance to improve or just make you realize that the initial effort you had was way better than you thought. But I'm just gonna spend a little bit of time actually talking about my thoughts on starting over. Like, when when should I start over? How do I know that I need to start over? And is a drawing worth saving? So, uh, in order to go into that, I guess I'll explain a little bit about what the heck I'm actually working on, and I'll tell you guys why I decided to start over and change my mind on this drawing. So, this is actually a collaboration drawing I'm doing with someone named Harrison. You might have heard of him before, he's a really cool dude. He does a lot of music related things, whether it's covers or just making original music and I have no idea how he does it, but he's crazy talented. So yeah, I would definitely, for anyone who likes music, which I hope is everyone, <laughs> especially anime related music, I would definitely recommend that you go check out Harrison. This is a drawing for a collab we're doing from Beyond the Boundary. And uh, with this drawing, initially what I was going for is Mirai Kuriyama when she's in like her dark form from the movie and she's all sad and angry and... Uh, that's essentially the thought I had in mind. I had no real mental picture for it, I just knew that that's what I wanted to do, so... Um, I did plan this out to a degree, and I do actually like how this drawing turned out, which is interesting. So, it's not like I hated it and I was like, oh, pff, I can't, I can't save this, I need to start over. Um... But I am a firm believer of sometimes your first idea is not your best idea. And when I was closer to finish with this drawing, I thought to myself, maybe I could retry this in a different take. You know, and I'm not going to get rid of all the work I did. So I still saved this version of the drawing. And uh, I guess that's a good pointer I have for anyone who's starting over. Don't delete your previous effort because you might actually make a remake and the other one's already gone and you realize that the remake isn't as good as you thought it was going to be. And if you don't have that backup of what you had before, you do need to start over. <laughs> so that that's definitely like a sound piece of advice I could give if you're restarting or redoing a drawing. Keep the original. If it's digital, save the file somewhere else where it's out of sight but not out of mind. And if it's on paper, consider using another piece of paper or maybe the backside just please don't erase the entire thing unless you're absolutely sure you can do it better <laughs> but yeah that's that's one of the things that has definitely helped me out and it even just brings a level of relief in case a drawing doesn't turn out the way i planned because i always think to myself well if this doesn't go well if the remake doesn't go well i still have the original and it makes it like less stressful for me uh, when I'm thinking about making a drawing. And the fun fact about this is this is actually my second attempt. You didn't see the first because I didn't get far enough into it to actually record it. So this is the second attempt and then I go into the third attempt. And the reason I actually decided to go into the third picture when this one was almost done uh, is just because I was thinking to myself, I like how this looks but I think I could do better. And it's not necessarily with this same pose. If I were going to change the pose slightly, I probably would have fixed this drawing. But I thought of something else entirely. So, like I told you, I actually just saved this version of the drawing, and I still have it in case I ever want to go back to it later. You know, not shooting myself in the foot by wasting all of my effort. And uh, I just went on to the third drawing, and I had that peace of mind of if this all goes to crud, I still have the other one. <laughs> and, uh,. I don't know, I'm just a firm believer of sometimes your first idea isn't your best idea. The more that you maybe plan something out, the, the something cooler might turn out because of it. I did have thumbnails for these and that's usually why I do thumbnails, it, it helps a lot. Uh, but the idea just came while I was working on this drawing because I did actually like how this one turned out but I thought it needs something more, it needs a little more oomph. <laughs> so here I am bringing the oomph, you see I redraw the face a lot because Sometimes you just can't draw faces, but uh, I essentially got a pose that I liked first and that's what I do when I make a redraw is I'll just make a really tiny version of the drawing and then I just, you know, resize it and fix the details. I just find it helps me sketch a little bit easier, but 
essentially I didn't just start over I restarted with a plan so if you're gonna restart you know have something in mind don't just restart for the sake of restarting I have an idea and uh, yeah I really am glad that I did start over with this drawing sometimes it's a good thing it's kind of frustrating because it always takes more time to do uh, I think from the first attempt to the end of this third attempt it took like 13 and a half hours which is definitely not a small amount of time <laughs> I, I know that there's probably worse, but it's in regards to one picture, I kind of did that to myself because I started over. So it is frustrating, but sometimes I think to myself, if you're going to restart, or if you have to redo something, uh, do it better than you did the first time. And that's just something that's helped me out, whether it be uh, with a drawing or an assignment for school that I really hate, or, you know, just when your computer decides to delete everything on it, you're like... <sighs> now I need to put everything back on here. I have the logic of, well, if I need to restart, I might as well do it better than the first time. And I'm really glad I did. And the entire thing I was doing with this drawing was I was going for a painterly style. Uh, and I'm very lucky that I had a couple of friends to help lead me through the process. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I really do like how this turned out. Essentially what I did is I made a sketch, I colored a base layer over that sketch, and then I just lowered the opacity of the sketch and pretty much painted over it until I didn't need to look at it anymore. And then I just made everything look all painterly and nice and shiny and fluffy. But yeah, it's fun. It's something new. And I don't know, I guess I would like to hear your thoughts on, you know, the painterly style. Do you like this style of drawing? What do you think of it? And also in regards to starting over, I have a few questions for you guys. How do you know when you need to start over? How do you feel when you need to start over? And when you do start over, <laughs> what's your process for it? Do you save the other drawing? Do you just completely trash the old one? Do you just get frustrated and quit? Like, let me know. I, I would like to know how everyone else deals with, with drawing because, you know, drawing's pretty hard to do. You can never get the drawing exactly the way you want it to, but that isn't necessarily a bad thing, but... <laughs> Uh, yeah, let me let me know what's your guys' process for starting over. What do you do and how do you get past it? And also, if you have any questions for me, I would love to hear them. And also feel free to check out Harrison's channel. I'll link that as well. And I'll also link my Twitch because I stream two times a week. And if you have any questions for me, I would love to answer your questions live. But yep, that's pretty much what I have for this video, guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!